My name is Rich Barletti. I'm from Albany, New York. I'm Liz Murphy from Dunmore, Pennsylvania. Murata, where are you from? I live in New York right now, but I came to America from Jamaica. I'm from Manhattan, and but my family were originally from Dominican Republic. My name is Bodine. I'm from Saudi Arabia. My name is Hak Jun Jo, known as Charlie, and I'm from South Korea. I'm Fiki Mashangu. I'm originally from South Africa, but I've been living in Binghamton for seven years. I'm Evan, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. Wyoming Seminary has, in some senses, uh, been a very unpreppy preparatory school. We do have traditions, and that makes us very unique. The academics are the priority. The kids are here for what the name of the school says they should be here for. Preparation. Stop. Uh, Wait, That's good. So we can use that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can use it. But as you get older, you learn about how bad it is and the mistakes that leaders make and how biased they are. Could you are. pick a more telling word than bad? Meretricious and. Uh, uh, <laughs> he would too. Um, asking for pecuniary gain and a very ethnocentric white conservative <laughs> male centered culture. If I were asked what is the selling point of a STEM education, I think it's the work ethic these students develop. Not infrequently they come back and say college is so easy. I want to go to college in California. <laughs> so my friends going to Stanford, got a bunch of friends at uh, Pepperdine, and they got you know, a couple people at Kamana. Pepperdine is kind of your uh, beach party type. Oh, no, yeah, that's okay. Stanford, that'll work you. That's mm -hmm. tough school, but if you make it through, you're set. I have a great amount of respect um, for my students. Um, they're, I'm humbled by the talent. I'm humbled by uh, the exercises that I can get them to do to come across the level that I can push them to. Right now we're rehearsing for Isn't It Romantic by Wendy Wasserstein. It's a modern play about love and parents in New York City in the 1980s. It's a lot of fun. We offer 18 varsity sports divided among 395 students. The expertise of our coaching staff is very good. And as a result, with small numbers, uh, they can get a lot of individual attention. The uh, teachers really care about the students. They uh, like to get a one-to-one -one personal relationship with the students. It's probably the biggest thing about the school I like. De donde viene tu fe? De mis padres. It was quite amazing to me when I first came here the amount of interaction that occurs between faculty and students. It's not unusual on any given night after our family style meal to see three or four teachers off in corners with students going over their latest paper or helping them get ready for the test the next day. What's really nice is the dorm faculty, they're very home-like, they make you feel so comfortable. Dorm Life XM is awesome. I really enjoy it. Life in the dorm is really fun. There are so many different people, and you can always find people to talk to, people to stay up late to study with, people to party with, watch TV with. Never a dull moment. And then we put all this plastic, and then a jump, and then plastic and plastic, and then you go like slide down the plastic like you get soap and uh, water, and then you like hit the jump and like do tricks all of it. Where? In, in my front yard. Wyoming Seminary has some very deep historical roots going back to 1844 at a time when this campus, which now sits in a residential old suburban neighborhood, was just a dusty crossroads. I think if you look at our curriculum, you will be amazed at how many offerings there are for the size of school we are. There are roughly 150 courses for 395 students. The type of student we get here 
they they challenge you all the time. I feel challenged all the time in the classroom, and that's a plus. If you think about it, religion is mostly what you believe without seeing it. In a lot of religions, people tell you what's what the religion is about, and you just believe from what they told you. Do you think if we didn't have the Bible or the Koran, a lot of people would believe in their religion? The Bible is from what people told. They didn't go to the museum and say, oh, this happened, this happened. But you're they exactly actually proving. heard it. They didn't, go and, they didn't go and see it. You're proving my point, though. The kids are very bright, and they really uh, make the faculty uh, uh, work extra hours to keep up. What kind of a society do we have going here? Communist society. It's a communist society. So it's the government's money and the people's money, according to a communist society, I mean, they, they're throwing a good point at you. They are highly competitive, both in the classroom and on the athletic field. They fit the mold of the student athlete. We've got a, a really interesting group of kids, kids that are really focused. Now push it up. Now release, relax, and pull away. This is the place where they get to kind of relax, let things down from what is really a very rigorous academic place, and um, they get to express themselves. And for some of them, it's an incredible outlet that they're on. They really need this kind of a break. It stems back to some of the basic philosophies of Wyoming Seminary, that a well-rounded student and an educated student is educated in the arts. My colleagues are all working artists, working musicians. They bring some uh, unique perspective to, to all of the classes because they are actively working in their profession. They're not just talking about their profession, they are active. The teachers are so nice. They're easy to get extra help and they're always available whenever you need them. They're always there for conference after school. Um, they take us places when we, when we need to go somewhere. If I don't understand, I ask them. And it's really I don't know the word, it's totally, I can't express it. They know their subject, they love it, and they try to impart that love and respect to their students. I was looking for a really solid academic school, and seminary was it. The best way to find out about us is come and visit. So come on down to Sam and see what we're all about. Come on, Wyoming Seminary is a hill. Jump on the hill. <laughs> come down to Wyoming Seminary, have spas, and learn. I like it better than my home. The best way to find out about us is going to visit us.